Messiah, Majesty, Messiah, Majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness was me. May Zion Majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me, our Savior. Your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness towards me. May Zion majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me. Experiences, 
Many students, the future is looking very dark. Very dark. It is looking very dim. You hear a lot of suicides. You hear a lot of increase in drug use. You hear uh, increase in pregnancies. Many, many many different things, actually, that that affect the households. And yet you have many churches still growing, still expanding. Mm -hmm. But what is the impact? So what really is, uh, where is the campus ministry really heading? Where are we heading? So, so you know, we, that's one question that um, you know, even as ministers we, we do have, and you know, we, we didn't really necessarily get into more of those details from the last time, but we're so happy in this new episode, and hopefully, sir, it will be deeply grateful if um, uh, you can help us by the Holy Spirit to really expand uh, on, on that vision, sir, if possible. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, I want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And also, we want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Aguila. Say we love you, Papa. We love you, Papa. Um, it's a very, 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 very beautiful question and very important question. The future is always one of the things people are always afraid of. But you see, you need to understand that given the kind of ministry we're part of, the future is sure. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Amen. But you see, there are two parts. Um, there, are, there are some people whose future is um, yet to come. Mm. Yes, sir. And then there are others who are already living in the future. Wow. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Which means, therefore, uh, whatever your future is, what you have planned to be, when you look at the one who is already living their future, then that should become the future you should desire. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. If you read, uh, if you read what Jesus said to Simon um, in Luke chapter Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter five. Okay. What Jesus said to Simon in Luke chapter 5. Yes, if you read what Jesus said to Simon in Luke chapter 5. You get to see when Jesus met Simon for the first time. Jesus said to Simon um In verses, Simon had already said to Jesus, uh, in verses 8, Lord, depart from me. I'm not worthy. Yes, sir. I'm a sinful man. Yes, sir. If you read verses 8. Verses 8. Can you read verses 8 to me? Yes. Yes, sir. When Simon Peter saw it, he, he fell down at Jesus' knees, knees, saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, now, oh Lord. This was after he received a miracle. Mm. Wow. This was after he received a miracle. Mm. But see what Jesus said to him in verses 10. Verses 10. Verse 10. Yes. yes. Can you read verses 10, please, to me? One, two, go. Yes, sir. And so was also James and John and the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not. Henceforth, thou shalt catch men. You see that? Yes, sir. Like the way Jesus caught him. That's true. So Jesus was living the future oh. that wow. Simon was desiring to have. Wow. So there are certain men in this world. That also includes women too. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Who are already living the future others desire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So true. That's true. And God did it that way. Wow. So it's not as if you are going to have something mm. brand new. <laughs> mm. The future you desire, someone is already living it. Someone is living it. So what does the future hold for Champions Royal Assembly, our campus ministry? Look at the man of God, Papa Joshua Aguila. Yes. Yes. Papa Joshua Aguila already is the future any of us should desire. Yes, yes. 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 Very true. His life. That's true. Yes, sir. His life. Mm. The man of God is already a mega success. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's no one in this ministry, and I say this respectfully, that is even more successful than the man of God himself. So, what does the future hold 
Look at Papa Joshua Egila. Look at Papa Joshua Aguila. The man of God himself is living the future yes, mm. that many of us are desiring. Yes, but why would Jesus tell him, you fish men? Because that was the life Jesus was living. Mm. Men yes. were following him. He was catching men like fishes. He was yes. true. <laughs> catching men. Yes, he was true. And Jesus told Simon, a man who had toyed, if you read verses 5, this guy said to Jesus, he suffered and achieved nothing. Yes. Men of no achievement. Yes. Men who suffer and have no achievements, nothing to their name. Yes. What they should desire is a man that is full of the achievements they don't have. Yes. So your future is actually before you. Yes. Your future can become a tangible person that is even talking to you. Wow. Yes. But some people think that their future is still an elixir, something in the air that is yet to form. Oh, people, people are your future. It all depends on who is before you. So what is the future of the campus ministry? Look at the man of God, Papa Joshua Aguila. His success alone will tell you what the future of the campus ministry is. Yes, sir. We're going to be global. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to be more influential. Yes, sir. Well, maybe you don't want to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to catch men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Men with influence. Yes, sir. Amen. Rich people. I mean, somebody paid for Jesus' burial. Even though... Jesus died early. Someone had enough money to sponsor his burial. Yes, Another man offered his grave, yes, his grave, his tomb. Mm. The other yes, yes, Jesus did not need to do life insurance. People were his insurance. Yes, people were his life insurance. Yes, so people, people should be your life insurance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not, not what you are saving up. And that was what Jesus was telling him. Yes, the reason why you are toiling is because you don't have men as an insurance. So, so our focus in the campus ministry, yes, sir. Alpha and Omega, yes, sir. our focus on campus is to help men who, who, are, who, who have a prospective future of suffering mm -hmm. rescued. We, we, we have a mandate to rescue them from a future life of suffering and toiling. Cash them yes, I have me, I have friends. Well, they are no longer my friends, not really, but they used to be classmates. You know, yes, who sir. they were the big boys then <laughs> on campus. Yes, sir. But today they are miserable. Some of them are suffering. Some of them can't help themselves. They never knew there was such a future coming for them. Mm. So, our focus for those of us on campus. Is if somebody asks you on campus, why are you, why are you really after me with this mercy? You tell yes. them, I want to secure you a future. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you will thank me for it. Yes. 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 Wow. Exactly. Apostle Peter was eternally indebted and still indebted to Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And true. even yes. when when they even finally succeeded. Mm -hmm. They were not doing the very thing Jesus was not doing. Yes, true. Jesus now secured them a future in the afterlife. Yes, true. In Luke chapter 22, verses 28 to 30, he said, Look, by the time we leave this plane of life, mm -hmm. in the afterlife, you'll be sitting on thrones, yes, judging the 12 tribes. It just did not end. It, it was wow. wow. And then when you now read Revelation 21, you get to see even the name of the apostles were the foundation of the new Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And one of such men was a man who could not catch one fish. Yes, but his future became so glorious yes, that angels had to use their fingers to inscribe his name. Ah to the foundation of the heavenly Jerusalem. So you see, the one you meet, future. whose life you desire is the future. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That should just yes, be your future. Your future is before you. I like it is whether or not you can recognize it. <laughs> I can recognize it. So, go ahead, go ahead. It's very interesting that you 
say that the future is the people that you see before you. And for those of you who don't know, the model of Alpha Omega is actually raising role models. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. So yes. we ourselves, through our most esteemed teachings, through, the, through our Papa's teachings, we're now being raised as role models for others. Yes. yes. We are the future of the people that we are now leading. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. So when our most esteemed I said that it clicked in my head, I said, it makes so much more sense. Yes. 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 See, says, Listen, you, you're, you're sitting here, you're a role model. I hope you know, as you're growing and you're growing, whether it's in ministry, whether it's in your academia, whether it's in your professional job, you're going to be somebody someone will look up to. Amen? Yes. Yes. See, President Joe Biden, he had presidents to look up to, and now he's yes. president. Yes. Wow. Yes. See, there's even presidents here within our midst, so look yes. at President Joe Biden and say, I'm going to be like you. Yes. yes. Wow. So be another young person, someone who most likely will come to Alpha Omega and say, he Amen. came to Alpha Omega and he's my yes. president. Yes. So I can look up to him and say, he's my president as well. Yes. 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 See, yes. Yes. Sisters, See, what's the one thing I most see about teachers all the time is what watch the news, amen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we see monumental things happening. We had our first black judge, amen? Yeah. yeah. Some of them I can look at and say, that is Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know that for me, I will be I mean, the, the next black Supreme Court judge. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I thank you, my most esteemed, for even telling us that because it now it even clicked for me, and I hope it clicked for you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hey, and President Barack Obama, given by given what you were just saying, President Barack Obama was President Joe Biden's future for yes. eight years. Yes, yes, sir. The future was with him for eight years. Yes, they were seeing each other every morning. Yes, sir. This is the future. Yes, so it all depends on. Again, it is whether or not you like what you see. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yes, sir. You know, and we're so grateful, sir, even for this amount of time. And, and yes. Before you continue, uh, listen. Yes, sir. Don't desire a future that is far beyond your reach. Ooh. It's always... Uh, you, gotta, you have to see it. You have to yes, see it. Wow. Your future, the way God has designed it, it is always something you can... You can access someone you can access, so, someone you can have access to, someone you can talk to anytime, someone who can tell you this is how you do it. This is how you do it. That's it. You can't just say Jeff Bezos is my future yet. There's you don't know him, there's no access. God doesn't give that kind of future. That is why Moses could not be a future for the apostles. Yeah. It had to be Jesus yes. because he was someone they could see. Yes. Wow. Although Moses finally saw, as, although Apostle Vita finally saw Moses and Elijah, mm -hmm. they read about them, but they were not the future. Mm -hmm. Even though they had, they were the past. Yes. They were the past. Yes. So you can't desire uh, someone's past success as your future. Mm -hmm. It's it's a misnomer sure. to want the wealth of Rocky Feller. When there's Jeff Bezos, who is far richer than That's Lucky Fellas. Do you, do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, you, you can't admire past success and pursue it as the future. You will just be pursuing your past. And that's why you can't achieve it. Because yesterday is already a past. It's true. So, your future must be someone that you can access. Someone you can call anytime. Yes, sir. Talk to anytime. Uh, it's just the truth. Yes, sir. I am so happy for that knowledge, sir. Yes. yes. Uh, you know, and for it to be cemented in all of our minds. Yeah. It leads us to another question, sir. You know, uh, regarding our campus ministry, with this knowledge that when we come on campus, we are someone's future, uh, we are someone's admiration. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Christianity, even. Uh, now, how do we make someone see that future? Mm. You. Okay. They're already seeing you. Yes, sir. Right. I'd like to read something to you, Apostle Peter. Apostle Paul said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. when he had an encounter with Jesus, when he had an encounter with Jesus, he said to Jesus, actually, um, Apostle Paul, in Acts chapter 20, he was narrating his experience on his way to Damascus. Yes, sir. Uh, when he met Jesus, and Jesus told him, uh, why persecutors so so why persecutors down me and um, oh, oh, uh, Jesus that when he already resurrected 
Yeah. When Jesus Paul. rose from the dead, yes, oh, he yes, was sir, talking yeah. to Paul on his way to Damascus. Oh, yes, yeah. uh, Apostle Peter, when he was recounting that experience, mm -hmm. said something enlightening. Um, he narrated that story in, in Acts 22. I think also in Acts 26 also too, he also narrated that same story again. Um, but uh, in Acts 26, sorry. Yeah, this was when he stood before King Agrippa. Wow. And you get to see what he said In verses, verses 17 into verses 18. Look at it. Acts 26, verse 17 into 20, verses 18. Yes, it said, Delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom I will send thee to open their eyes. Open their you see eyes. that? Speak, yes, sir. To open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light. The word darkness there is the word obscurity. obscurity. Yes. It means ignorance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how do you make people see the future? You bring them knowledge mm. yes, to make them become aware of their condition. Notice yes. darkness. Mm. Yes, There's a way you can tell. Apostle Peter was in the dark. Yes. That was why he could not catch fish. Yeah, is that? Mm -hmm. yes. The same song shines upon all but one is toiling one is toiling the other is fishing men mm -hmm. because one is in the dark ignorance the other has full knowledge yes. that's why jesus could tell apostle peter where to throw the net to catch that's fish yes, sir. Yes, sir. do you understand so you can be a professional and still be in the dark in your profession mm -hmm. jesus was not a fisherman that's true. he grew up in a home of carpentry yes. but he could tell fishermen how to catch fish yes. Because you might be a professional in your profession, mm -hmm. but you can be a professional, professional in, in, who is in the dark. Mm -hmm. There are many attorneys today who are suffering. Why some are making millions? It's true. Yeah, that's yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here, is it to turn, to open their eyes? Here, he's talking about the eyes of your understanding. Mm -hmm. If you read Ephesians. Yes, sir. Say to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God. Notice that. You must bring knowledge to them before you can deliver them yes, okay. from the power of darkness. Wow. Wow. If you are not able to do that, then he says that they may receive forgiveness of sins. Notice that. Before their sins are even forgiven. Mm. And then inheritance amongst them which are sanctified by faith. Then he now said in verses 19, Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. Mm. So the vision is yes. to open men's eyes yes, through yes, knowledge. Yes, 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 yes. Like when we come, we teach you the word. Yes. We open your eyes to basic realities. Yes. Yes, that yes, way you take that same knowledge. Because don't forget, where you were coming out from, some people are still there. Yes. Yes. So you go back to those same people and bring them a knowledge that opened your eyes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So even when they are trying to argue with you, you tell them, I used to be in your place. Exactly. Actually, I also argued too. Yes, sir. But I finally realized this is it. Mm -hmm. yes, and that's what changed my life. Yes, sir. So, you see, that, that, you, you, it is true knowledge you can bring, you can make people see you as the future. Mm -hmm. And Jesus did not say, look at me, I'm the future. Even the person will know. Oh, you are actually every you are the very kind of person I like to be. Peter heard Jesus' teaching. He heard Jesus' teachings. Yeah. And Jesus didn't say, I will, I'm your future. No, he just said, you, I will make you fish men. And Apostle Peter for three years saw how Jesus was doing it. Mm -hmm. So if you're expressing word for word, if you want to quote someone, I'm your future, the person doesn't even need to see that. First of all, do you have the kind of success this person before you has? Sure. So why are you looking for success elsewhere when the success is before you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. The success is before you. Yeah. Uh, and we're grateful. We're grateful for that knowledge. I know many of us at the have questions. Um, you know, and we still, we still want to make time for them to if possible. Yes. You know, but we're deeply grateful even for 
uh, this is information so far that we've been gathering. And for those of us who have even just graduated from high school, that's even entering university soon, I think that this may be encouraging for you that while well, even as I enter campus, uh, I can be an admiration, I can be a role model that helps deliver knowledge mm -hmm. to enlighten people, open people's eyes to see, and, and, and raise them up. Even as we too, we are receiving knowledge and being raised up. So we thank the Holy Spirit even for that, sir. And uh, you know, to give us further clarity on our vision, even in Alpha and Omega eternity, mm -hmm. even as we raise role models and showing us and even being our 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 future as it is extended yeah. to our to our campuses by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and by uh, the Spirit of our Father, the Lord, our Joshua and Jesus. So we're deeply grateful. Praise God. Blessings. We thank you again. Your praise will come from me For your faithfulness to us me 